Well, we did good. Where's Lorraine? Uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Hi, Lorraine. Hi, monkey business. No monkey business. Hello. I think I'll stick with my name a while. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? I'm going to close that. All right. So I pulled up social needs. And this popped up. So we can read, read that. I don't see it. Um, I have to switch screens or something. Make it bigger. Oh, there it is. Um, yes. Yeah. Can you make it one? Because I cannot see on the on the first uh, first merit performance by that. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It allows you to enlarge it. Yeah, I just enlarge it. First marriage, is that where I'm starting? Yes. Yeah. Okay. First marriage performed by God. God celebrated the first marriage. Thus, the institution has for its originator the creator of the universe. Mm -hmm. Marriage is honorable. It was one of the first gifts of God to man. And it is one of the two institutions mm -hmm. that after the fall, Adam brought with him beyond the gates of paradise. When the divine principles are recognized and obeyed, in this relation, marriage is a blessing. It, regard, it guards the purity and happiness of the race. It provides for man's social needs, it elevates the physical, intellectual, and moral nature. He who gave Eve to Adam. That's kind of deep. That's why I got to read it slow. No, I'm just saying I hear the words and stuff, but you, yeah. on, on the surface, you would not think of it going that far, but she's saying it's all connected to all of that. When married is a blessing, it guards the purity and happiness of the rich. It provides for man's social need. It elevated the physical, the intellectual, and the moral nature. He would give Eve to Eden as a happy performance, his first miracle at a marriage festival. Hmm. In the festival hall, where friends and 
tender. Rejoice to get Christ began his public ministry. Those is what is this? Some sentient merits recognizing it as an institute oh, 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 okay. institution that he himself had established. Christ honored the marriage relation by making it also a symbol of the union between him, God, and his redeemer once. He, God himself, is the bridegroom. The bride is the church of which as his chosen one. He says to God, Thou art all fair, my love, there is no spot in thee. And that was from Ministry of Healing. Amen. Thou art all fair, my love, there is no spot in thee. Uh -huh. I was listening to Dr. Shiva today and um, I've heard him say it before too, but he's saying that the people that live the longest, their social interaction is good. Uh -huh. So, I mean, I kind of figured the churches would close, but this isn't, wasn't the way I thought that the churches would close. I thought it would be something where it's more... Um, a religious um, contention or something, but that's not what's happening now. What happened was uh, the they use a medical emergency wow. to take away um, take away the ability for them to stand their ground but then i understand why they would buckle their knees because the way they're organized now is not where they're um to govern themselves they're up under the the beast and they're almost like a, a beast agent is the best way to put it so when i saw that they closed the doors Mm -hmm. And then even when they may have started opening them and all this temperature check and whatnot, it's like, what are you doing? Are you connected to God that you would follow what it, you, it to me it was like, is checking temperature in the Bible? Is being a part in the Bible, I mean, read right here. She said the social needs being mm -hmm. six feet apart ain't being sociable. That's like you like a stranger or something. And so going no. with the word to dictate my behavior, I, I'm saying this thing exposed them. All right, so let me go back to the other document. So where did we leave off on this one? Oh, we left off at the bottom. So right here where it says journey to Jerusalem. Yeah. 
You can start from journey journey to Jerusalem to read. The journey to Jerusalem in the simple and patriarchal style amidst the beauty of springtime, the richness of midsummer, or the ripened glory of autumn was a delight. With offerings of gratitude they came from the man of white hairs to the little child to meet with God in his holy habitation. As they journeyed, the experiences of the past, the stories and both the stories that both young and old still love so well were recounted to the Hebrew children. The songs that cheered the wilderness wandering were sung. God's commandments were chanted and bound up with the blessed influences of nature and of kindly human association. They were forever fixed in the memory of many a child and youth. The I gotta ceremony. stop right there. Um, if you listen to all the things that they do now, as far as his kids and stuff, nursery rhyme and all this kind of stuff, it if they like you put them together with the two concepts with educating the kids, they will be looking at them. They crazy. What's what is this? nursery rhymes i mean it's like it's nonsensical in the sense that it's not really different things that you might really have to do in life or something they're just happy-go-lucky kind of songs and stuff it doesn't have a lot of um meaning to it like jack and jill went up the hill and all this kind of stuff that's not preparing you or anything. All right, you can continue. It's a time a time waster. The ceremonies witnessed at Jerusalem in connection with the Paschal service, the night assembly, the men with their girded loins, shoes on feet, and staff in hand, the hasty meal, the lamb, the unleavened bread and bitter herbs, and in the solemn silence, the rehearsal of the story of the sprinkled blood, the death dealing angel, and the grand march from the land of bondage all were of a nature to stir the imagination and impress the heart. Huh. That's what's supposed to be happening with us too. But it's been taken away. All right, continue. Feast of Tabernacles or Harvest Festival with its offerings from orchard and field, its weeks encampment in the leafy booths, its social reunions, the sacred memorial service, and the general hos generous hospitality to God's workers, the Levites of the sanctuary, and to his children, the strangers and the poor, uplifted all minds in gratitude to him who had crowned the year with his goodness, who paths dropped fatness. Without in Israel, Fully a month of every year was occupied in this way. It was a period free from care and labor, 
and almost wholly devoted in the truest sense to purposes of education. Now you see that they went on a field trip for a year, for uh, a month. So really and truly, the other nations around it was like, when do you work? You tell me on the seventh day you're supposed to rest. Then you tell me the first day of the month you're supposed to rest. Then you tell me three times out of the year you need a vacation. What kind of stuff is this? Yeah. In apportioning the inheritance of his people, it was God's purpose to teach them. And through, through them, the people of all generations, correct principles concerning the ownership of the land. Oh man, that's heavy stuff right there. They ain't mm -hmm. doing that now. Yeah. Man. Wish they were. That's why the world is in the state that it is in. They they're they're saying that we're now moving into a for real recession. Yeah. I don't really know what that means, but the bank is retracting back money. They're not lending lending out as they were before. Oh. So it, it makes where goods and services the cost goes up and less movement because the cost went up and people didn't increase their pay to cover the cost. So it re re retracts the economy, it doesn't expand. But they're doing it on purpose. The land of Canaan was divided among the whole people. The Levites, wait, the land of Canaan was divided among the whole people. The Levites only as ministers of the sanctuary being accepted. Though one might for a season dispose of his possession, he could not barter away the inheritance of his children. <laughs> the government is doing that right now. What is this? When able to do so, he was at liberty at any time to redeem it. Debts were remitted every seventh year. And in the 50th year or the year of Jubilee, all landed property reverted to the original owner. Thus every family secured in its possession and its safeguard was afforded against the extremes either of wealth or of poverty. Safeguard was afforded against. Marjorie, can you read a while? Where is it at? Okay, is it ready? Yeah, by by the distribution. By the distribution of the land among the people, God provided for them. As for the dwellers of Eden, the occupation most favorable to develop, 
the care of plants and animals, a further provision for education was suspension of agricultural labor every seventh year. The land lying <coughs> fallow, fallow in its spontaneous products being left to the poor. This was given opportunity for more extended study for social intercourse and worship. The exercise of the benevolence so often crowded out by life's cares and labors. See that right there? He wanted to spend more time together worshiping. And I'm look I'm thinking about it right now. If you spend time worshiping, you have less time where you have confrontation with each other. That's for sure. I, I take that back because they would they would take it where disagreement with scriptures make them go crazy. What? Oh. You have where people have disagreement of scripture and they'll get crazy with that. But if everybody's on one accord, it's you're gonna get a Pentecostal mindset. All right, you can you can continue. Where the principles of God's law <laughs> regarding the distribution of property carried out in the world today, how different would be the condition of the people? An observance of these principles would prevent the terrible evils that in all ages have resulted from the oppression of the poor by the rich and the hatred of the rich by the poor. While it might hinder the amassing of great wealth, it would tend to prevent the ignorance and dissipation of tens of thousands. No paid servitude is required for the building up of those colossal fortunes. If aid in bringing a peaceful solution of problems to fill the world with anarchy and bloodshed. Hmm. That's the last bit right there. Hold on. Devotion, devotion of a second tithe for the relief of the poor and other benevolent uses tended to keep fresh before the people the truth of God's ownership of all and of their opportunity to be channels of his blessings. It was a training adapt, adapted to kill out all narrowing, <coughs> narrowing selfishness, <coughs> cultivate brethren and nobility of character, nobility <coughs> of God, fellowship with him in study and in labor, likeness to him in character were to be the source, the means, and the aim of Israel's education, the education imparted God to the people, to the parents, and by them to be given to their children. I think she got some deep stuff there from the spirit. So that's the purpose. It's about worship. And I just... It's kind of hard for me to see why this would be an issue, and I don't see where it speak against the law, and I don't see where it speak against the testimony because Christ did it, and Christ didn't sin, so that was what was this set up for, like how they would try to bring that out, and we're told if he did something um, by action, 
it would be something that we would be needing to do. I mean, one would say, well, he went on the cross and died. Well, that concept is to mean to give up self. So we don't have to commit suicide or anything like that. But we're supposed to, instead of appeasing ourselves, we give that up to do like what it says, channel the blessings and things of that nature. Give up what? Things like, of self. Like having the second ties to give to the poor or to help out. Ways of denying yourself. Yeah. Service, service isn't always giving up self. It depends on the person's approach or attitude, right? It's, it's not always. Well, approach and attitude will always come with anything that you do. And... But it's always a pleasure, it seems. So how can it be self-denial? Your self-denial makes the pleasure more. You're, you're denying that, that time for yourself to give it up for somebody else. Oh. <laughs> You're concerned and in prayerful for them. You're giving of your gifts, of your money, of whatever, your service, your meal, your whatever you think that you can do for that person. <laughs> in the devotion here it's under the title it says to have friends we must be friendly I'll read this paragraph Christian sociability is altogether too little cultivated by God's people by social intercourse acquaintances are formed and friendships contracted which results in a unity of heart and an atmosphere of love which is pleasing in the sight of heaven everyone will find companions or make them and just in proportion to the strength of the friendship will be the amount of influence which friends will exert over one another for good or for evil. All will have associates and will influence and be influenced in their turn. The link is a mysterious one which binds, mind, binds human hearts together so that the feelings, tastes, and principles of two individuals are closely blended. One catches the spirit and copies the ways and acts of the other, as wax retains the figure of the seal, so the mind retains the impression produced by intercourse and association. The influence may be unconscious, yet it is no less powerful. 
if choice is made of companions who fear the Lord, the influence will lead to truth, to duty, and to holiness. A truly Christian life is a power for God. The warmth of a true friendship is a foretaste of joys of heaven. That's heavy stuff. So that's what we're doing here now. We got less than nine minutes. And I think that's going to be it for me when this one finished. We basically went over the same thing we went over last time. Uh, Thank you. Um, we were doing something else, but it started leading in this direction. Very nice reading. It's kind of like, like you just said it, it seems like it's something to encourage you to. Something good to look forward to even here on earth. <clears throat> and not all the doom and gloom kind of messages that we get from what they tell us of what's going to take place. But uh, the more we fix our eyes on Christ, because to me, like with them, like supposedly studying all the prophecies and whatever, Christ will reveal it to you. When it just, just like what you said with the association. So if I'm hanging out with Christ, you don't think Christ don't tell me that, hey, a storm is coming. It'll be here at such and such time. I think he would give you that. But. Yeah. I think some of these guys like to harp on that stuff because it keeps an excitement on people and it actually um, uh, works on them from an anxiety mindset, which is what the world does too. That's why they have all these emergency, emergency to keep you all in a state of fear mindset. So mm -hmm. you're maybe not even concentrating on it that you're in fear. But because of the atmosphere, your brain waves are like in the mindset of somebody in fear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have gone, because if you go down to the deepness of the word, I'm not saying don't like hasten, but I'm saying like, how we've been like told you need to hurry up and get ready and it better you take your time and get ready that you don't have to go back over something that you just ran too fast and missed it so <clears throat> the time is not on us per se the time is on the devil and it says that he knows his time is short You want to say something? Well, I just got a note from somebody. And, no, no, no. Uh, I saw like Grace looked like she was waving her hand or something. Oh, okay. Maybe somebody is. Grace is on mute. I don't think she's talking. You hear me that now? No, I thought you had waved your hand like you wanted to say something. 
Yeah, I say so. I uh, I was wondering. You said that. Uh, excuse me. You said that uh, the time is short. That is for devil. Mm -hmm. Wow. <coughs> yeah, the Bible says he knows his time is short. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's why he's sick now. The word to make everybody believe it. That uh, oh, he make it all everybody to confuse it. About the truth. Because I, I heard from all my sister and brother, even they are in the same way on the women church. Some they sometimes they don't understand. Mm -hmm. We like say the same like I said, the same like they said, but I was tell you right about uh, eating pork is not sin and fornication uh, have a sex is not a sin. I said what? And also lie is not a sin. What a break! Uh, what is a what is a sin? Uh, what what commandment that sin uh, break? And I said, what? And I said, a liar is a sin. Why did why you say that a, a liar is not a sin? See, so everybody is like trying to confuse me you know when i said no lie is a sin if no matter what, that's why god gave the lucifer names uh, the father of the murder murder and the father of the liar mm -hmm. in the beginning that his name so if you said, I mean, not you, I mean, I talked to my friends. You said that sin is, is not liar. So that's meaning God is a liar. Then why God make a, a law for us? I'm going to read this here before it cuts out because it's like two minutes now. In this time of trial, we need to be encouraged and comforted by one another. Mm -hmm. The temptations of Satan are greater now than ever before, for he knows that his time is short and that very soon every case will be decided, either for life or for death. And when we talk about with God, he's eternal, so time doesn't mean anything to him. And the only concept of time is just appointed times and the cycle of the fruits that the tree that bears 12 manner of fruits. So it's keeping a time of the cycle, but it's everlasting to everlasting. <clears throat> so I think this will conclude it and I guess I'll take a quick prayer before it cut out okay. Father we come before you and give praise to your name and we ask that let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in your sight for your name's sake and the only begotten son Jesus Christ we pray Amen. Thank you. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, all of you. All of you. Good all night. Right. Good night, all of you. See Good you. Night. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.